Hello everyone and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 with me, Mr. Grantu, and episode 70 of Monaco. And today we've got our Coupe de France quarterfinal against Angers. If we do win that, we will be getting through to a semi-final against Toulouse. And we've also got the second leg of our Champions League quarterfinal against Liverpool with a 3-2 deficit from the first leg, which isn't actually that bad. It's just a shame that that was the first leg and that we therefore have conceded three away goals. But absolutely nothing has happened since last time. As we said, not played any games in between. We have, though, got the group stage for the European Championships, Euro 2024. Of course, we did qualify with France. We are seeded second for the draw because we didn't win the group. We actually lost We lost to England. We actually lost 7-0 to England. I think I did mention that in the final group game, which meant that the English did win, unfortunately, for us. I think we probably can't be in their group, actually. Uh, but, uh, well, we're not going to be with Poland. We're not going to be with Germany. We're not going to be with Spain. That's actually quite good. I'd like to avoid Italy. Can we be with Denmark? We are with Denmark. Uh, of course, the team of Robert Skov, and probably the best draw we could pretty much hope for. And we'll go through the rest of them, and we're going to be with the Czech Republic and Greece. Okay, not a, not a bad group, then. Not a bad group. Denmark, Czech Republic, and Greece. Pretty good, considering we're not one of the top seeds. I think we've we've kind of got a good draw. Got a good got a good draw there. I think. Well, I think in the summer, a lot of the squad players, um, people like Berardi, Mamana, Almo, even. I think it's it's time they were moved on. We've got a lot of dead weight in this squad that just simply cannot cut it when called upon. Hopefully, we will be given the funds to do that. Although I, I mean, it doesn't doesn't bode particularly well, especially if we're not going to win the league. So Patrick Schick is still not fit for this one, which means Pellegri keeps his place up front, but otherwise Awa is going to be in attack in midfield. Everything else is the same, save for Delict coming back in in place of Mamana, who was pretty dreadful in the previous game. He's back from suspension, so he can now play. So no PSG in the Coupe de France this year. Lyon are still in the competition, though, and... Uh, well, Bordeaux as well, so some difficult teams. It's not a clear path to the final, but it's certainly looking a lot more likely uh, than it has done in previous seasons if we can get past Angers today and then win our semi-final against Toulouse, and those are both big ifs. Well, two extremely disappointing results and particularly defensive performances in a row. Win needed today, and that's a great start. Pietro Pellegri not really been at the races much this season, even when called upon. Only his seventh goal of the season, but he gets the goal there. We've got the lead. Ten minutes in. Corner in from Skov. Delict. Well, I'm not even sure what happened there. I mean, how has that gone to Pellegri? Delict's header just sort of phases into Pellegri and we're 1-0 up. Angers on the break though. And Martinez has completely missed it. Chateau can only hit the post. Once again, what is happening with our defence? Shocking defending from Martinez. But we just about get away with it. Mendy on the ball finds Awa, Henrik's to make it two, and he does. And just before half time, five minutes left of the first half, give or take, Henrik's makes it 2 0, only his second goal of the season. I mean, he's a right back, so I don't know why I'm saying only. He's not supposed to be scoring goals, uh, but he gets a goal there, very important goal, great goal as well. And we are in control of this one. And it's 3 0, Robert Skov sealing this, you'd think. In added time, great free kick. I mean, the, wow. <laughs> the goalkeeper, very, very late jump there. I think that's kind of cost him. And, uh, well, yeah, 3-0. This one's looking game, set and match, even with another half of football to go. And there we go. 30 seconds left on the clock. Nothing has happened in this second half at all. Um, but, I mean, the game was pretty much over in the first one. Gave us a chance to rest a few players before the Liverpool game and time ticking away. And there we go, a very, very comfortable 3-0 win against Angers. We're into the Coupe de France semi-final against Toulouse, which I think will probably be uh, potentially our focus next time, depending on how things work out with the Champions League. But, uh, well, it's looking like the most likely trophy for us to win this season, not to tempt any sort of fate. And it's time for the second leg against Liverpool. We are losing 3-2 from the first leg. Those three goals for Liverpool, all the way goals. So... Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Um, the team is, this is the team that we're going to go with, uh, exactly the same as against Angers. We're not really rotating very much at the moment, save for the fact that Patrick Schick, who's recovered just about from injury, he's not 100% fit, but I think given the gravity of this game, he's going to have to play. Uh, Pellegri 
hasn't been particularly great recently. Obviously, his goal against Angers was kind of a fluke that he knew nothing about, so doesn't really count. Um, yeah, this is going to be tough. We're definitely the second favourites of the game. I think whatever happens, the border are fine, but we're only supposed to get to the quarterfinals. But it would be it would be nice, wouldn't it? Could we do it? A miracle at Anfield. I can see us winning one nil. And then going away, going out on the away goals rule, um, we'll have to wait and see. We need at least two, and that's if they don't score, which is very unlikely. Awa finds Mendy at fault in the first leg. Can he make an atonement here? It's come through to Henriks, and he goes for the shot, and Allard puts it in. And I think he's potentially offside. He didn't look that offside. It's gone to VAR. Is it going to be chalked off? And it's not. The goal's confirmed. I was going to say, it looked... It didn't look even particularly tight, really. I thought it looked very much onside. Henrik's with a shot. Allison saves it, and Allard is there onside to tap into an empty net. And, well, very, very interesting. Patrick Schick's already picked up a knock, but it's not anything particularly serious. We'll leave him out there, see how, it, how he gets on. And we're working the ball nicely. A second goal for us would really open this tie up. We would take the lead on aggregate. I mean, let's not count our chickens, really. Liverpool are very, very deadly. Allard over the top for the injured Schick. And oh my goodness, what a pass from Allard. Unfortunately, I think a fully fit Schick would have scored there. And if Liverpool do now go and score, that'll be a real gut punch. We have taken the lead in both legs. And we threw it away in the first one. Are we going to throw it away in the second? Sadio Mane on the ball. It's come to Keita. Back to Kovacic, he's lost out, and Allard now running forwards. Schick is not looking particularly fit. We're going to probably have to take him off at half-time. Allard finds Henriks, and Henriks puts it wide. Henriks throwing it in straight to Van Dijk again. I mean, he's not great at throw-ins, is he? Flicks the cross in, and Schick has got it in. I thought I was going to say, oh, he's missed it, but he's got he's got it in somehow. We've got to see this replay. Not great from Allison. Allegedly the best goalkeeper in the world at this point. Henriks flips the cross in. Schick, who is pretty much on his last legs, hits the bar and then just sort of stands there and manages to somehow get it over the line. 2-0. 4-3 on aggregate. As it stands, long way to go. But we have got the advantage at the moment. One more goal would cancel out Liverpool's away goals as well. I don't know how long Patrick Schick is going to last. He looks absolutely dead on his feet already. But that's why we played him. I think whatever happens, even if he has to go off at half-time, um, it was definitely worthwhile putting him in, the, in for this one. Well, it's half-time at Anfield, and the miracle is on. Although, you know, we've been in this position before. It's the hope that kills you. I'm not going to tell them to not get complacent, because they, they, they're always complacent anyway doesn't matter how much you tell them to not get complacent. They're just constantly complacent. Um, how are they going to be complacent this time? I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe they won't be. Maybe this will be the exception to the rule. Just I'm, hope, I'm just going to keep talking and hope that nothing happens. No highlights, please, for the rest of the game. That will be absolutely brilliant. Not a single highlight. Unless you want to give us a third goal, that will be good. But otherwise, nothing, please. Half an hour left on the clock. Oh, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the sting in the tail. A goal for Liverpool would put us out because they've got the away goal advantage. Please no highlights. That would just be the sweetest thing. 15 minutes of normal time remaining. Can we see this out? Schick is still alive somehow. He's on 67% conditioning with no match sharpness. We probably should take him off, but he's kind of keeping us in there. Awar's not having a great game. Seven minutes left. I can see a Liverpool goal here. Do we go defensive? Liverpool coming forwards, obviously, just as I do that. It's blocked, though. We've got the ball. Allard, the star man, running down the left-hand side. Has he? Does he stop running? Because I've gone defensive. Oh, no. Mane in. Fuck. I, I don't, I'm not even watching it. I'm not even watching it. That's it. It's over. Three minutes left. I'm not even going to make a substitute unless Skovki hits the bar. Oh my god. That I what, what do you even do what do you say? Kessie, can you why did you stop running? Oh. F
what do you even say? They had one highlight in the whole game and they scored the goal they needed. We, we were played so well, we looked so good. Time was basically over. I don't even know. I mean, that's... How many games do we just choke? It's, it's beyond a joke now. It's beyond a joke. I, this, I, ugh, it's just so predictable every time, and I'm quite sick of it, really. I'm, I'm not going to be harsh on them this time, because they were really good. They were really good, and we have been well and truly robbed by a completely undeserving Liverpool, and we're not going to win the Champions League this season once again. What? I, I just... 87th minute goal for Sadio Mane. <sighs> but there we go. You can't win them all, or apparently we can't win it ever. Are we ever going to win the Champions League on this evidence? I don't think so. But that is the end of another very disappointing episode. Once again in Europe, we've been really robbed um, and gone out completely undeservedly, which I think you can say has happened every single year, apart from season one. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you feel like it. I'll see you next time. Probably.